the Tijuca just north of Rio itself look this evening and we've got quite a special game at the Paralympic Games 2016 in the wheelchair basketball it's the Carioca Arena number one and the team that you'll see in action this evening Great Britain three times in a row they have won the European Championships they are currently the powerhouse of Europe against the hosts the team that all the locals want to see Brazil that's how they've gone so far Great Britain with a couple of wins from their two games 93 31 against the Algerians and then 84 60 against Iran for Brazil well, they've won one and lost one they won against Algeria yesterday 82 43 and lost 38 75 to the USA the USA currently out in front three wins from three they have six points Great Britain Germany Iran Brazil Algeria that's how they line up in group B don't forget the top four make their way through to the quarterfinals at the moment it's Brazil and it's Algeria that would be excluded if we stop now but luckily for those two teams we don't stop yet and also take into account that Brazil had a game in hand on most of the teams up above them the Brazilians are exciting Blanda Santos will come out first there's Thiago Frank the coach there is De Santos 23 years of age lived in Guania and started his basketball at Club Adfego in that same area of Brazil there's Jatoba he's been on fine form for the Brazilian team in this competition through goes the number nine De Bonfim Rodrigo Carvalho the one point player 38 years of age the Brazilians are delighted to be here there is the man they've all come to see Marcos Silva Candido he's known as Marquinhos he will have Sanchez on his back and his playing name is Marquinhos and he leads the team and leads them in fine fine style Gaz Chowdhury four point player Hails from Ealing in the west of London. Terry Bywater, the captain or co-captain, going through shot. The other co-captain there, Simon Brown. Another chap from the capital of Great Britain. Brown, that was Simon Munn, seven-time Paralympian Munn. He's a big, imposing player. He's a gentle giant, is Simon. In Sega, one of the most improved players of recent times. A fantastic force for this Great Britain team. Adi Orgbemi going through the shot, the number 15. And there is Mr. Nice himself, Hajj Barnia, the head coach of the Great Britain team. Used to coach the Aces wheelchair basketball side who are, are a Buckinghamshire-based club in the UK, in the south of England. And Barnia is assisted by Paralympic great Canadian Joey Johnson, stood to the right of Barnia. will now have the national anthems.
Well, the Great Britain crowd were rather outnumbered by the Brazilian hosts and rather outsang, but they gave it their all, as did the hosts. Fantastic to hear the national anthems sung with such vigour. The coaching staff shake hands. There's the Great Britain team list. Chowdhury, four, Brown, five, Marsh, six, Bywater, seven, Mun, eight, Brown, nine, Jammer, ten. Phil Pratt's the number 11, Sega 12, Warburton 13, who's been on fantastic form. Big Lee Manning, look out for him, and Oreg Bem is the number 15. Hadj Barnett will have plenty up his sleeve to keep Thiago, Frank and Brazil thinking tonight. Been in his post for a number of years now. Barnett, there's Abdi Jammer, one of the world's best players in his position, the number 10. Young Harry Brown, gaining experience all the time. Broke into the international arena at a very young age indeed. Brazil. Juan Gomez de Santos, the number four. Look out for Eric Silva. Eric de Silva, the number six. He's fantastic. The number 12, I've been impressed with. Amari Alves Viana, one and a half point player. And Marquinhos, the number 14. Thiago Frank, ably assisted by Italio, Italian Matteo Ferriani, the former Murcia in Spain coach. A, player, a coach who has inspired so many around the world. Been brought in over to Brazil, and now settled in Sao Paulo, the assistant. Alongside Thiago Frank, they have an exciting coaching setup, an exciting team. There's the starting five for Great Britain by Water. Look out for lots of points from him. Abdi Jammer, the workhorse. Phil Pratt, number 11. He's very, very quick. Sager's a great shooter, number 12. And Oreg Bemi is fast as they come. Brazil, number four. Duanda Santos. Six, Eric Silva, he's big, he gets in imposing positions. Number eight, Paolo Cesar Dos Santos, or otherwise known as Jatoba. And there is how Great Britain have done so far. 2-0, 93-31, 84-60. Under 100 points conceded in the competition so far, Islamic Republic of Iran pushed them far closer than Algeria did. And for the Brazilians, well, I think they were rather nervous against the US of eight. They lost 38-75, not the result they would have been hoping for to start their campaign. Bounce back against Algeria in some style, 82-43. The referees for this one, the referee Matthew Wells of Australia, a very highly regarded referee who will be retiring from international action after the Rio 2016 games with over 20 years of experience. Umpires Salim Villar and Sebastian Gauthier. There is Matthew Wells just shaking hands with Ian Sager. Wells who hails from Melbourne in South Australia. It's Great Britain versus Brazil. Tap was won by Sega. Terry Bywater. Pratt. Bywater. Was 17 at Sydney 2000 when Great Britain were heart wrenchingly beaten to bronze by Paul Schultz. Buzzer beater from the USA. 0-0 the score at the moment. Pratt into Sager and Sager. Can't find the basket in the opening exchange. That is not the sort of quality he would expect from himself, Sega, three-point player, 34 years of age now. Been around the block once or twice, has Ian Sega. Made his debut back in 2008, but London was his first Paralympic Games. De Silva, no one wants to score at the moment. There's a force field around the baskets. Bywater comes away, heavily tattooed on his 
left arm. Sega sat in under the basket a long, long time, but the referee has no issue and Sega makes no error on that occasion and we're a 2-0 lead for Great Britain. By water, Jammer. Two points for Jammer. An early nerve settler for him, Abdi Jammer, the Liverpool man. Spent a lot of his time though playing in Italy. Was a Sassari player back in after the Athens Paralympic Games. 4 0 the score, make that 4 2. Marquinhos opens the exchanges for Brazil. Lovely shooting for three for Terry Bywater. Makes it Great Britain seven, Brazil two. And the Brazilians need to be aware of Bywater's threat to them from that sort of position this evening. He's a player, as I mentioned, of huge international experience and quality. And he really can offer some fantastic outside shooting options. It'll be Marquinhos to the line, sorry, Marquinhos to the baseline to inbound the ball. Jatoba. Back to Marquinhos. Over to Leandro who tries to bully his way around Phil Pratt but can't get anywhere on that occasion. Pratt, pacey, young, exciting. Right hand shot goes nowhere. Disappointing shot in the end from Phil Pratt. It remains 7 2. But not for long. Jatoba is rousing the crowd. Jatoba with his first two points of the game. Bywater into Sager. Again, he doesn't get the basket, but he does get the whistle on the plate, Ian Sager. Leandro has a slight tyre problem. Hadj Barney looking nervous tonight. Hadj, I had a conversation with him in Worcester at the Women's Continental Clash back in August and I said, Hadj, how are you feeling about the Paralympic Games? It was an answer mixed with both nerves and excitement. He feels he's got an exciting blend in this team. Phil Pratt, one of the players that Barnett during that week was doing a lot of work with the Cardiff born youngster. Sega has to deal with a booing. It doesn't phase him. He's played in big games in Europe. A lot of these Great Britain players play in Italy, Spain, and the like. And Sega himself is a Grand T84 player in Italy. Many of them play, well, all of them play professionally. Marquinhos 
into Leandro, who waits underneath the basket, gets the ball back. Second time of asking, nothing there. In fact, it's Sele Thurso who's come into the game. Leandro going out. Jatoba. Long effort from him. Nothing there on that occasion. 8 4 the score by Water. By Water out to Jammer. Up goes the shot from Jammer. Unsuccessful on this occasion from Abdi Jammer. Another Brianti 84 player. Jatoba. Lovely ball from. Dos Santos, Marginos, lovely long two from him as the shot clock ticked down to six. Eight points to six the score. Great Britain are in the lead at the moment. But it may not last all that long. Simple shooting for Great Britain and Ian Sager. In comes Leandro for Sally Serso. Offensive foul was called against Dos Santos on Adi Orogbemi. Sega now five points personal for the match. And Bywater inbounds the ball to Orogbemi, who will come in towards the paint for Great Britain. It's in and out. The hugely experienced Orogbemi, a real core of experience in this Great Britain team. Lovely pass to Sagar, but the ball just peels away from his hands at the vital moment. De Silva, Eric, lovely pass. Marinos spins away. Brazil, inspired by the crowd. Jatoba. Leandro, Marquinhos has been in there a long time and the buzzer goes anywhere, that will not count. Matt Wells showing by tapping his shoulder, it was a shot clock violation. Now it's Ian Sager's turn to have a problem with his will. Joey Johnson, the assistant coach, and into the team mechanic. A lot of gold medals won to become a team mechanic for Joey Johnson. Bywater, Jammer. Not quite there that time. Well, one of the veterans of this Great Britain team now, Abdi Jammer. Offensive foul called against Jatoba. In Sega with a grimace and a smile, an equal measure etched across his face. The Brazilians didn't qualify for London 2012 or for the 2010 World Championships, which were held in Birmingham, or the 2014 ones held in Incheon in South Korea. They're holding their own here, though, against Great Britain. 10-6 the score. 3.53 left in the first. High press put on by Great Britain. Look at them pinning Marginos in the corner. Eventually broken, though, by Jatoba. Brazil have to get the ball over inside eight seconds, and that was why Jatoba was rushing. And then he threw the ball off the back line. And Great Britain will inbound the ball from their own baseline with a four-point advantage. 3.42 left in the first quarter. And Phil Pratt it is who has control of the basketball. Nothing there on that occasion 
forward rebeating Leandro to Jatoba. An exciting little player, Jatoba is two point play for Brazil. If you're new to the game, each team are allowed 14 points as a maximum on court at any time across their five players. They each have individual classifications, which I will go into. 3.25 left on the clock in the first quarter. It's going to be a timeout. Thiago Frank and Hajbania want to have a discussion with their team. Let's have a listen to what Hajbania is saying. What a crowd. What a crowd here in the Carioca Arena one. The hosts, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, have really embraced the Paralympics. It's day three of action. And they're absolutely loving what they are seeing. They're also Getting bums on seats, filling the stadiums, making lots of noise, supporting all the teams. Obviously, when the hosts play, there's an element of bias in the crowds, and that's completely acceptable and understandable. But when the Brazilians aren't playing, they're equally applauding all and cheering all on. And there's been some fantastic action for them to cheer so far. Here comes Leandro Ford for Brazil. A quiet period for the Brazilians. At the moment, no basket again there. It's taken them over two and a half minutes without a basket. And the substitutions made in for the first time this evening, number six, Karl Marsh. Pratt. Here is Marsh. Two-point player. Hometown of Wolverhampton in the Midlands of England. He's for Albacete in Spain when he's not based in the UK. Marinos, Dos Santos, lovely basket, Dos Santos, one-handed muscle man. Gaz Chowdhury is the man who is lying on the floor in the key for Great Britain. Not deliberately. A decent start for the British team. Brazil, though, will be happy with how they've pushed them as well. And number 14 right in the background is Big Lee Manning. Huge player, well over six foot five. Just waits for Chowdhury to be ready. Chowdhury, who's a former gold and silver medalist at under 22 European level for Great Britain. Marsh, Chowdhury. Chowdhury waits. Off the glass, comes away. Eric finds Marquinhos. Jatoba, lovely long pass to Eric, but he had floated away from the basket and couldn't get the shot away. Brazil and Great Britain playing here in the men's section of the wheelchair basketball of the 2016 Paralympic Games. 
two women's sides will be in action in the same pool as well. 10-10 now, Mark Hinos makes it count. Marsh, Chowdhury, Pratt. Back to Gaz Chowdhury, puts the two up, it doesn't go, and Great Britain are faltering currently. Jatoba, Marquinhos, Brazil are playing with a real flair at the moment. Jatoba once more, oh, well stolen. Great stuff from Phil Pratt. And down court comes the three-point player who splits his time between Sheffield in the north of England and Worcester at the Great Britain training base. Making his Paralympic debut, Marquinhos looks for Eric. Somehow it ends up in the hands of Marquinhos once more. Dos Santos finds Leandro. Lovely pass. Eric, no mistakes. And Brazil are back to 12 apiece. Eric da Silva, three and a half point player. So of the 14 points allowed on court, he takes up three and a half for Brazil. Look at what it means to them. Pressure on Great Britain. to inbound, Eric trying to put some pressure on him, Pratt to Chowdhury once more, Thiago Frank not happy about something, oh lovely hands from Phil Pratt and it drops for Sega. the intensity of this one is right up there at the moment Ian Sega, the Barnsley lad another player from the north of England 34 years of age. He's a 17-year-old. He broke his back in a motorbike accident. Now, the whistle goes. Sega will go back to the line because one of the Brazilians broke into the key too early. The crowd don't like it. Sega fidgets. Sega's classification is three. So, can he hit the extra free throw? Yes, he does. That will frustrate the Brazilian crowd. 15-12 into the dying seconds of the first. Eric bounces and looks around. There goes the buzzer. That is the end of the first quarter. And Great Britain have the lead, the score, Great Britain 15, Brazil 12. Well, the statistics, not pretty reading for Great Britain. 38% shooting. Plays 46. That is incredibly low in the international arena. Sega adding to his tally. Jatoba just caressing the ball. exciting start the Brazilians play with and the response of the crowd is superb
Thiago Frank almost playing the game as well and that is what we want to see a packed stadium here at the Carioca One Arena they're in here to see the hosts currently Great Britain have a three-point advantage Jatoba gets Brazil underway for the second quarter. Eric waits outside the three-point line. Back to Jatoba. Eric once more. Off the ring and falling for Simon Brown. A player who left the Great Britain programme under former coach Murray Tresider. And at one time was considering so I believe considering switching allegiances to his adopted country of Italy where he was playing professionally married to an Italian but back in the Great Britain fold and back at the Paralympic Games he played at Beijing didn't play at London Marquinhos was the scorer there 17-14 Chowdhury Drives through, well played, Gaz Chowdhury. Up for two, 19-14 the score. And that was really impressive stuff by the number four, who started playing at Force, a London-based club, which included, at the time, the likes of Sinclair Thomas and Adia Depatan, two British Paralympic greats. Jatoba, Mahinos, Jatoba once more, oh lovely play, brilliant stuff from Marcos, Leader Sanchez or Mahinos as he's known, 19-16 now, Eric heads out of the game, Brown gets us underway once more in Great Britain. Well, there's the offensive rebounds. Brazil, four to one. Chowdhury. Marsh. Marginos. Oh, where was Seika going? Marquinhos puts it away. It's going off here at the Carioca Arena, number one. The Brazilians are loving it. 19-18. Chowdhury. Brown. Seika. Pass to Pratt, up it goes, comes down. It looks like it would have counted had it gone. The referee's not signalling. Shot clock violation. Jatoba, Marquinhos, oh, what hands. Leandro, it's ripped away by Marsh and flicked off of court. Marquinhos going this way and that, feeding Jatoba. Jatoba can't put the ball in the basket, though, on this occasion. Chowdhury. Chowdhury, good hustling and under immense pressure, puts the points away as well. 21-18, three points the difference, Great Britain with Brown. Going in a bit hard on Jatoba. Jatoba picks up 
the foul as Brown went crunching in. Two-time Paralympian just to get over the top in his defence. Jammers returned. Carl Marsh heads out. And in comes young Harry Brown. The number nine, two and a half point player from Halifax, another player from the north of England. international debut at 15 years of age back in 2011 but didn't make London wow that was rather silly from the Brazilian player Jatoba and Matt Wells goes across to warn him he went crawling towards the Great Britain player who was rolling forwards he tips out and then deliberately put himself in danger and I don't think Wells was particularly impressed by that action Barnett sees the funny side. Jatoba's still arguing his point with Matt Wells. Wells has seen it all in his glittering career as a referee, but probably rarely seen players crawl themselves into the line of an oncoming wheelchair. Jammer, nothing there on that occasion. Often such a consistent shooter. Low point player, Abdi Jammer but one of the world's best. Nothing on that occasion for Lee Manning coming into the game. Toba finds Marginos, lovely hands once more, such pace. Leandro, one-handed won't go, three-second violation called, and Leandro is forced to retreat into defence. Celine Villar feeds Simon Brown, who can get Great Britain back underway. Jammer coming forward. On bronze at Beijing in 2008, Jammer was co-captain in London. And Great Britain were quite comprehensively beaten in the bronze medal match against their old enemy, the USA. Great Britain and the USA have a real Paralympic rivalry. Jammer doesn't get the two. Harry Brown just... to offer Jammer some support. 21-18. Jatoba looking frustrated tonight. There's a meeting of minds with Brown and Chowdhury. Happy Jammer misses the first. Three European bronze medals to his name. Twice he's captained the team to them. Used to hostile atmospheres in Italy, where he plays his professional club basketball. Lee Manning returns with a new wheel. Manning and Leandro, both groups of players. Jammer has to rely more on finesse. 22-18. Jatoba, Brown having to work hard to get back in the play at the moment. The Brazilians are at player over. And Brown with the foul. Second foul of the game. Back in comes Bywater for Great Britain. Bywater who 
originates from Redcar in Middlesbrough in the northeast of England. Marquinhos to Junior. Junior, one-handed shot, goes up and comes down with no points. getting on the ball obvious to see how it could with how much Leandro was sweating and he's just one of the ten players on court high pressure stuff this Gaz Chowdhury to Jammer Chowdhury finds Bywater started his basketball at Teesside Now plays for Spanish club CD Lunion, who were champions of Europe this year. Number five for Australia, Bill Latham. Another player to be a member of that team. Chowdhury puts the shot up and it goes as well. It was given. Four points the difference with one to come. 4.42 left in the half. Leandro, well, sloppy, really. Didn't need to do it. Chowdhury can't take full advantage. Leandro with the defensive rebound. By water and... Brown race back into defence. Great Britain are out of sorts in defence there. And Leandro is free under the basket. And that really was not good defence from the team in white. Great Britain, but super stuff from the Brazilians. Here comes Harry Brown. Six years under his belt as a full international. 2011 at the Paralympic World Cup. He made his first appearance. Now a 21-year-old. Jammer. Up and down for two. Abdi Jammer, a little older than 21, but so successful throughout his career. Made those achievements whilst being one of the nicest guys on the Great Britain team as well. Thiago Franken, Matteo Ferriani talking through a plate. Two brilliant minds to be coaching this Brazilian team. The timeout has been called. It's a six point difference now. Great Britain 26, Brazil 20. 3.56 left in the second quarter. Scarfs waving. Look at that, that's fantastic. What brilliant pictures of an engaged crowd at this amazing event. The 2016 Rio Paralympic Games, the home nation are totally, totally getting everything that the Paralympic Games is about. Olympic fever spread through Rio so fantastically well, and now it's continuing into Paralympic fever. Jatoba, Leandro, up and down. Leandro now has four points personal for the game. Leandro de Miranda. Chowdhury, Brown. 
based in Gilanova in Italy Brown where he plays his club basketball lovely pass into Leandro Matty Wells comes across to discuss what had happened with the players class referees and umpires often vocal with the players explaining as they go what's happening listen to this crowd oh back what a mistake from the brazilians throwing the ball away marginos Candido Sanchez, couldn't believe it, Bywater inbounds, oh, something's happened to Terry Bywater, oh no, it's a ball issue I think, yes it is, they're going to change the ball, not having a good night that ball, it's wet now. Carvalho looks on from the bench. The one point player from Sao Paulo. Abdi Jammer will inbound. Bywater, lovely shooting from the four and a half point player. Now 33 years of age. Chowdhury by water. Twenty fifteen, he was the European Championships top scorer for Great Britain. Seventh overall. Ninth for rebounds in the European Championships as well as Great Britain did the hat trick of European Championship golds. Water, no mistake from there. Six points the difference. Great Britain, three, eight points the difference. Great Britain, 30. Brazil, 22. 2.15 left in the second quarter. Interesting point between the two teams' makeups for their coaching staff. There, the Brazilians are using their head coach and their assistant coach to do the talking. Great Britain, they have Joey Johnson as the assistant, but he's in the background. He'll be in Hags Barnier's ear, he'll be giving him ideas and things to do, but he leaves the talking solely to Barnier during the timeouts. Whereas Brazil seem to switch it between Fediani and Thiago Frank. Marquinhos inbounds the ball, gets it back from Jatoba. Those two, such a great link up. Just over two minutes left in the half. Great Britain have extended away their lead to eight points. Great Britain hitting 48% now of their field goals. Jatoba will have the shots. And it's the first free throw at all made and achieved for Brazil. They'll get a second. They're hitting 48 of their field goal percentage as well. Doesn't get the second one, the ball will bounce out of plate. Harry Brown just watches it. And Sager on the bench. Grabs the ball for his team and there's substitutes coming in. And it's the first time this evening we will have seen Greg Warburton. Nine 
17 year old former under 22 European championship bronze medal winner what a take that is Mark Hinos somehow over his shoulder reversing round then gets fouled by Harry Brown well that was probably the take the catch of the tournament so far Marquinhos had no right to clutch that ball. Marquinhos with the shots. The first one is successful. Toba earlier on didn't manage to get both from the line. Cam Marinos, it's 30 24. He does. Five points of difference now. The youngsters are being inspired. Jammer by water back to Jammer once more out to Chowdhury Brown off the rim and down for two and he gets the one as well Harry Brown made no mistake he's the youngest player to ever be selected for a Great Britain team lovely technique seven points could become eight Goes Brown with the one point added. Jatoba. Eight points now. Great Britain lead. The Brazilian crowd just slightly quieter than they were. Jatoba spins the ball in his hand. Junior Marquinhos under the basket. Doesn't get the basket, and Great Britain will race away in search of a double figure lead. Chowdhury and Bywater switch. They then exchange a nice pass. The tilt and shot from Bywater doesn't go. He was falling all the time. Dos Santos for two. Great celebration from Dos Santos. It's six points the difference now. Junior holding his hand up to the foul as the Brazilians make some substitution and by, uh, substitutions by water will go to the line. Six points per game. Sorry, 15 points per game so far for Bywater in this competition. It's the man of the ever-evolving haircut. Currently sporting the slicked back look. Missed the first. Doesn't get the second. Eric races in and claims the defensive rebound for the Brazilians. Inside the last 13, it's an offensive foul called. Jammer and Oreg Bemi celebrate as it gives Great Britain control of the game with 27 seconds left in the half and the opportunity to stretch the lead back to eight once more. Marginos was all over Jammer there. And it was his fourth personal foul. Now, if Brazil lose him, it could severely affect them. Orgbemi, he's had a quiet game. 
often working away in the background. Player with true pace and real class. Mojinos tries the three. That'll be the buzzer for the end of the half. A really good half of wheelchair basketball from both teams. And the score at the half in Group B, Great Britain 35, Brazil 27. Plenty more action coming up in the second half from this Group B encounter.
Well, both teams preparing for the second half. Hopefully, it will be just as good as the first. Brazil in the green, Great Britain in the white. 35-27 at half time. Thiago Frank will know his team. Put pressure on Great Britain at the right times there, but Great Britain, to be fair to them, showed their class. Chowdhury and Brown deep in concentration. Gaz Chowdhury. Some impressive play for eight points. Brown currently no points. One offensive rebound, one defensive. One assist as well. And there's the confirmation of the score. Eight points the difference. Brazil will be chasing the game from the off in the second half. They're led by Candido Sanchez or Marquin Marquinhos, as he's known, with points 14 for the game. Then it's Ramos Santos and Leandro de Miranda with four each. The top scores for Brazil. Hope you're enjoying the action here from the Carioca Arena One. It's Group B action in the men's wheelchair basketball of the Rio 2016. Olympic Games. Abdi Jama and Terry Bywater get Great Britain underway for the second half. Warburton. Jama long two and sinks it with ease. Abdi Jama. Double under 22 European champion. Junior to Eric. Eric puts the shot up. The foul had already been called. against number 10, Abdi Jamma. Junior to Eric. It doesn't go for Eric. It won't on the second go either. Or for Leandro. Eventually, fourth time lucky. 37-29 now. Warburton. Oh, goes around Junior with ease. And the foul drawn by Greg Warburton, whose parents are out here cheering on their son. There's a Paralympic flag. Bearer at the opening ceremony of the London 2012 Games, Greg Warburton, as was Harry Brown. And we'll have two shots at the Rio Games. Warburton wasn't an athlete in London. Well, he was an athlete, but he wasn't playing in London. He sinks the second to make it 39-29. Junior finds Leandro. Up it goes from Leandro and down it goes. And of course, Mojinos is off the, off the court for the Brazilians. The reason for that is he's currently on four personal fouls by water. Fidgety, backing away from the basket. Puts the basket down. 41-31. Junior around Warburton. 
Oh, nasty. Dos Santos on Oreg Bemi. And the foul called against Dos Santos. Warburton by Water. Warburton once more. Good movement to the ball by the British team. Jammer unable to sink the basket on that occasion. Eric. Junior. Spins. Not looking too happy. And the foul was against Bywater, who was protesting his innocence. Supports Middlesbrough Football Club. Chowdhury. Lovely reverse pass, Chowdhury to Bywater. And Chowdhury once more loops around in support. Not the greatest pass to Abdi Yama. And Warburton can't make it stick on that occasion. It's still a ten-point game. Under seven and a half left in the third. Great Britain at the moment in the ascendancy. Leandro just dropping the ball off the baseline. Yana finding something funny. seen much of Biana this evening. I haven't seen him at all, the one and a half point player. Had a solid tournament so far. Of course, Brazil. One win, one loss. 38-75, they lost to the USA. 82-43. They saw off Algeria. In a game as well supported as this one for the Brits. Well, they won 93-31 against Algeria. 84-60 against Iran. And that was an Iranian team who had started the competition well. Leandro now has been in the paint a long time, needs to get the shot away, does so, gets the basket. 41-33. In there an awfully long time. Almost putting down roots. He gets the basket. Ian Sega thought the referee had blown his whistle to give the three second violation. He hadn't. 41 33. Sega to inbound the ball after just coming on for Greg Warburton. Or Bemi heads out as well. Warburton's come back in, or Bem has gone out of the game. Leandro. The tilt, the shot nowhere near. Great defence from Sega. Jammer. By water, just thinks about where the ball needs to go to generate the shot, and it finds its way to Warburton on the angle. Off the glass, lovely two from Greg Warburton from distance. 43-33, the youngster really playing impressively across this tournament of the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Eric. Leandro loops it up to Eric once more. The defence of Warburton generates the shot clock violation. 
Eric da Silva unable to get the shot away in at the moment. Brazil are missing Marquinhos as we go to a timeout. Ten points of difference. It's 8 6 in this third quarter, but overall 43 33 to Great Britain. Barnier looking quite pumped up at the moment. The Brazilian crowd have been pumped up all evening. What a brilliant spectacle. Another Carioca Arena one. The Paralympic Games have barely even begun. Imagine what they'll be like in the knockout stages. Well, their team are doing them proud at the moment. A team that didn't qualify. For the World Championships in 2010 or 2014. Didn't qualify for the last Paralympic Games either. So they've been unexposed in the international game in recent years. But only 10 points behind Great Britain, a team who have a World Honours role to be very proud of. Jammer unable to put the ball away. Sega can though, and it's 45-33 now. Leandro, up and down it comes with no points added to the total. Leandro once more moves it on, 12 points the difference. Good defence from the British, Silva can't put the basket away. Sega. By water, Tilson shoots. It won't count. It's Brazil's ball. Great Britain were the first ever world champions, although it was an unofficial world championship back in 1973 in Bruges. Winning gold. Basket. Marquinhos back into the action. Pratt up and down for him. Simple stuff for Phil Pratt. Made his World Championships debut in 2014. Paralympic debut here at Rio 2016. Marquinhos. The long two doesn't go, it rattles around and Pratt can slowly come away. Takes up three of the team's 14 points. That's his classification, a three-point player. Jammer. Just a one and a half pointer Abdi Jammer. In fact, a one pointer Abdi Jammer, I should say. Jatoba goes rolling over, but he got the basket. 47 37 now. And Jatoba back on form. The fast break. And the points added. 3.31 left in the third. Fourteen turnovers for the Brazilians.
12-10 in the quarter. Great Britain lead. Make that 14-10. In Sega. Five from nine from the floor. Two from three of free throws this evening. Marinos waits to inbound. Junior exaggerates. Rojinos flooding forward. The British defence sit tight. Now they come out to meet Marjinos. Leandro in the paint off the glass. Doesn't go. Tries again. Sagers there hassling and harrying and being a nuisance. Pratt talking to the referee. Finds Sager. Not sure what was wrong with Phil Pratt there, but there was something being said. Back it goes to the young man. Not the best shot that Phil Pratt will ever put up for his team. Another of those London 2012 flag bearers. Alongside Warburton and Brown. Now here at the Paralympic Games. An example of the inspiration that the Paralympic Games can have on its host nation. Of course, Great Britain hosted the last games in 2012. The British team finished fourth. The British women finished seventh. And since then, both teams have been playing to a high standard, competing well on the world stage. Marquinhos finds Jatoba. One minute 45 left in the third. Junior, great pass. And lovely from Viana. I said we hadn't seen him much this evening, Amari Viana. The one and a half pointer from Panaltina near Brasilia, who now lives in Sao Paulo. And here in Rio, he makes a quick impact for his team. Timeout has been called. Great Britain 49, Brazil 39. Don't jump was Hadj Barney's instruction to the Great Britain team. Don't overreact to the player about to shoot the ball. Don't jump out on him and commit yourself too easily. The crowd packed in here at the Karaoke Arena one. The British flags very much outnumbered, but as ever, Great Britain, a well-followed team around the world. Sega drops the two. Leandro finds Marquinhos, thinks about the three. International debut versus Argentina back in 98. Marquinhos and the Brazilians get the points. 51-41. Leandro goes to the line for the extra. 
He's up to 12 points personal for the game. He doesn't get the extra. Phil Pratt is the man who jumps in and grabs the defensive rebound. We're into the last minute of the third. Warburton. The door was slammed in his face by Leandro as he was seeking a run to the basket. Chowdhury gets into the paint, puts the shot up. Oh, well played, Gaz Chowdhury. With the double in 2016 with Riante 84, who he's played for since 2014. He won the Coppa Italia and the Italian Championship, Chowdhury. Leandro, well played, Junior. 53-43, Brazil are not lying down here. Chowdhury will go for the three to try and beat the buzzer, doesn't get it on that occasion. We're at the end of the third. Chowdhury frustrated, the score, Great Britain 53, Brazil 43. There, the statistics, Great Britain 47% of all field goals, Brazil 44. They've actually done better from their two-point field goals, though, by 1%. Britain, one from three three-pointers. Ten points is the gap between Brazil and Great Britain. The team in white. Great Britain have the lead. Marquinhos teetering on the edge as far as fouls go. He's got four, one more. And the hero of the Brazilian piece will have to head off to the bench and sit the rest of the game out. Chowdhury. Warburton. Nothing on that occasion for the 19-year-old making his Paralympic debut. Leandro Sega in with the defensive rebound. The former Sheffield Steeler and Tameside out player. Ian Sega, Phil Pratt just stops on account of the referee's whistle. Matty Wells calls the foul against Leandro for the hold. Once more, the ball being dried. Warburton, Chowdhury. Warburton waits just inside the key. Well played, Greg Warburton. Had a vital role in the Great Britain Junior men's stunning performance of the Kitakishu 
Cup in Japan. The team won a silver medal. And here at the Paralympic Games, Warburton is turning potential into some fantastic performances. Leandro had the ball knocked out of play by Ian Sega. He'll have the inbound, five seconds on the shot clock, 8.29 on the game. Marquinhos. Mary Viana. Chowdhury. Warburton to Chowdhury once more. Good movement from the GB team. Pratt over the top. Down it goes. By Water and Cole on the bench show their appreciation. And it's now a 14 point difference between these two. The Brazilian crowd have been quietened somewhat by a 4 0 run in this third, fourth quarter for Great Britain. And it could extend once more as Chowdhury comes away with the ball for the British team. Chowdhury off the glass for two. Great Britain have opened up a 16 point lead. They've taken six and oh in the fourth. And it's a timeout called by Thiago Frank. He wants to work out where his team have gone wrong in this final quarter with 7.22 left in the game. Matteo Ferriani offering his opinion and insight. Well, the current scoreline not diminishing the party inside the Carioca Arena one. The Brazilian fans still up dancing. We'll come back with 7.22 left in the fourth. There are the leading scorers. Candido Sanchez, Marinos, as he's known, 16 for the game, leads all. Eric off the glass, good for two. 14 the difference now. Warburton. In, out and back in again from Craig Warburton. That's Great Britain now over 60. They haven't hit less than 84. A three-pointer for Eric. Thiago Frank goes racing down the sideline. Great Britain need to move the ball on quickly here, otherwise they're going to be caught out in an eight-second violation. They do. Warburton up against Marquinhos. Over it goes to... Phil Pratt, Pratt the Welshman to Chowdhury, Chowdhury off the glass and down it comes in Eric's hands. Leandro, oh, so close, but the whistle went. It should be. Three shots. As he was shooting from outside the white line. Yep, you see that. 
The referee with three fingers up, signaling that it will be three shots. Of course, the number of shots given for a foul correlate to what was being shot at the time. Unless a basket's good and the foul is called, and then there's just the one extra. Leandro. Can't add that one, and Sega comes across. Pratt, one of the quickest players on the Great Britain team. Chowdhury. Chowdhury gets the ball stuck as the referee gives the offensive foul. Against Warburton. Toba waits. The foul was actually called against Phil Pratt, his first foul of the match. The clock won't start again until the ball is picked up. Marquinhos waited as long as he could. Here he is once more. Warburton hassling him. Leandro goes for the three, doesn't go. Chowdhury with a defensive rebound. As Chowdhury has six defensive rebounds, leading the way for the British. Leandro has ten, and Eric seven for the Brazilians. Chowdhury, up it goes, doesn't go down, beat the buzzer. Couldn't find the accuracy. Oh, Marquinhos tried to make himself bigger than he is. But couldn't reach the ball in the end. Four fifty-one left in the game. Twelve points of difference. From an experienced eye, you can only see Great Britain closing this out from here. Brazil just 22 points so far in the second half. 26 for Great Britain. As Chowdhury went round Leandro. And the whistle went. It'll be an end line ball for Great Britain. Warburton, Chowdhury. Warburton once more, the shot goes up and down for Warburton, who continues in fine, fine form. Ten points now, double figures for young Warburton. He's over his average points per game so far. Eight points per game was his average coming in to this evening's match. Phil Pratt, the number 11. Was averaging eight as well. Chowdhury. That's Barnett just having a conversation whilst Chowdhury goes to the line. Eric was the fouler. His second of the match, Chowdhury, 12 points, looking to extend. 64-49 the score. Warburton and Marsh go over to offer their congratulations to Gaz Chowdhury. Chowdhury, who's been around a long time, still only 31 years of age. Kinos. Help from Warburton to allow Juan de Santos back into his chair. Good sportsmanship between the teams. 
Any friends made off the court? No friends on them, though. To Toba. Leandro waits. Up goes the shot. Looking to add the two. Couldn't do so in Chowdhury. Finds Pratt. Sega will have a second effort. Chowdhury too. Nothing there. And Great Britain shooting just going awry for a moment or two. 65-49 the score. Pat Wells telling the technical officials that that was against Carl Marsh. His first foul of the match and the team's third foul of the quarter. 3-10 to go in the game once more. The ball needs drying. I've never seen the basketball need drying so much in my long time of commentating on the game. Leandro. Up and out. And away with Marsh. Chowdhury. Lots of time on court tonight. Gaz Chowdhury. Pratt to Marsh, to Chowdhury, who goes in and gets another two. 16 points for the game now. Seven from 14 of his field goals successful in just under 19 minutes on court for Chowdhury. The three for Marquinhos. 67-52, and Brazil head over the 50-point mark. For the second time in three matches, only hit 38 against the USA. Not up to scratch on that occasion. Rao Carvalho comes into the game. Some of these Brazilian players have official names and then almost nicknames. One such player is the number 11, Rodrigo Carvalho, who goes by Rao. Chowdhury once more up to 18 points now for the match. 69-52. Leading scorer for Great Britain. Sega. Here is Chowdhury. Marsh in for a simple two. His first points of the game. Only his second shot. It's two assists. An assist from Chowdhury. On that play, we've only 135 left in the game, and it's a 19-point difference. Gaz Chowdhury scored 18 points for his team in a really impressive performance this evening. Personal fouls, one for Chowdhury. 14 overall for the evening for Great Britain Junior on court. Leandro's gone off, Marquinhos heads out. Eric inbounds. Jatoba. Fantastic shooting from the big number nine. Jose de Bonfim. Four and a half point player from Igarasu. of the left leg after a tumour. Bought him to wheelchair basketball. Warburton. What a cracking player he is. Heading towards the last 60 seconds of the match. 19 points the difference. Brazil will have no way back from here, but they can close the gap with the bomb fim and he can't Get the ball in the basket. Warburton weaves. Pratt goes over to help. Sega sets the screen to 
allow Warburton through. Marsh to Pratt. Marsh once more. Oh, the whistle goes and it's a three second violation. Carl Marsh looks bemused and then a foul is called as well. The three second was Ian Sager. Technical foul against Karl Marsh. I think it was something he said. It must have been something he said to referee Matthew Wells. Eric De Silva to the line for two. Sorry, for one. And he will get the ball back as well. Seventy-three fifty-five. Thirty-seven seconds left before this game closes out. The Brazilians aren't going to win it, sadly, for the locals. Great Britain. Well, they will continue with a hundred percent record in the competition. Junior unable to put the points away for Great Britain. They will have Germany and the USA to come in the pool. Brazil, Iran and the Germans. Great Britain just seeing out time now. They can celebrate a good performance here, a strong victory. Brazil put up a brave fight. It's applause all round for both teams and they both deserve it. Phil Pratt played well. Gaz Chowdhury was the standout for Great Britain. The final score in Group B here at the Men's Wheelchair Basketball Rio 2016. Great Britain 73, Brazil 55. Well, Thiago Frank and Matteo Filiani can be proud of their players. They put up a brave fight against the three-time in a row European champions. A team that didn't medal in London for the first time in 12 years. Bronze in Athens, bronze in Beijing, they just Missed the bronze in Sydney, Great Britain. In Atlanta 96, they were leading in the gold medal match, the era of Joey Giratney and co. Nigel Smith, another player that was playing in that final. But they were undone by Troy Sachs, an Australian great. But tonight, it's been Great Britain who have come out on top. The Brazilians were the ones put to the sword. But they will continue in this competition with pride, with flair, and they will look to qualify for the quarterfinals. One win from three for Brazil now. They faced the USA and Great Britain, two of the strongest teams in the competition. The Brits just finish off their final team talks as do the Brazilians, lots to think about, lots to talk about. And the crowd have been marvellous this evening. really doing the country proud, cheering the athletes on with such vigour. It really makes it a pleasure. Chowdhury, 18 points for the game. Candido Sanchez or Marquinhos, 19 points, just outscoring Chowdhury. Sega, 14. Leonardo, Leonardo, Leandro, 13. 50% 50 for Great Britain from their field goals, 39% from the Brazilians, well, it fell away in the second half. Eight from 13 from the line for Great Britain. And their confirmation of the breakdown by the quarters. 2012 in the last quarter as Great Britain stretched away from the Brazilians. 73-55. That's now how the pool looks. 
USA and Great Britain locked together on six points at the top. Germany, after three games, they've won one, lost two, sit in third. Brazil currently on the same as the Germans. Then come Iran and Algeria. Brazilian flag and the Union flag fly alongside each other. Tonight it was the Union flag. Great Britain remain with a 100% record in Group B at the wheelchair basketball of the Paralympic Games 2016. They've won against Brazil 73-55.